Hey friends, today I'm going to share with you my reaction to Gina Walters' most recent upload on her YouTube channel in regards to motherhood. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley Murphy. I'm an artist and an author among being a wife and a mother. My hope is when you spend time here on my channel, you gain influence that you are made to shine. Apply that to your daily life by just being inspired by visiting my channel. So I have my iPad here with me because I've already started making notes in my reaction to her video. And let me just tell you which video this is of hers. It says, Confessions of a Mother, Uncensored Chat. It's where her and one of her friends are having a conversation about being a mother. And I was really inspired whenever I watched this video of Gina and her friend because it just really brought up some raw emotions of my own of what my story is for raising my children. And I started typing this comment out to put you know, in the comment section of her video and I realized, you know, wait just a minute. I think I wanna take this a step a little bit further. I'm gonna take those notes that I started and I'm gonna read them to my, my family on my channel to let you see my full reaction and my response into Gina's conversation with her friend because I just felt like I wanted you to get the, the effect of what feelings and thoughts and stuff it provoked in me. Let's take a look. If you're not familiar with Gina, Gina Walters lives in Melbourne, Australia. The video that I am going to be talking about is Confessions of a Mother, Uncensored Chat. Here we go with my reaction. Let me get back to my notes where I had started typing up because I actually had started typing them under her video and then I copied, cut, and pasted into my notes because I was like, wait a minute, I, I really want to share this further. My response was, it started out as this, and I'm thinking as I go on and just chat it out with you that I will finish out because I really didn't finish. I stopped midstream. I put, thank you for this. I came home from my outside work world, workforce, 15 years ago when my second child was nine months old. I didn't breastfeed. I did lose work family. I'd grown fond of just staying home with my kids. So basically I'm saying like the family and the friends and the friendships and stuff that I developed in my workforce when once I came home, like those just d diminished. Where I had to find myself all over again, if I was even found to begin with, it was like a light switch that turned off. My worth wasn't found in my work family or my performance at work anymore, and sure wasn't found in serving my family. This was a hard pill to swallow. I essentially was alone. My thoughts are that the comparison trap of I wish I could stay home like Ashley ultimately squashed any friendships I had in my workplace. My life went up. Really? One way and there's one another. And then I put, I desperately still needed them in my life as support. And that's where I stopped. But th those thoughts and feelings of how it was for me personally, like coming home and everything, of how I, I felt like I didn't have support. Like I came home, light switch went off, and I went on about my merry way. And it was a very lonely and depressing journey, but I knew for my family that it was what was needed to, to keep my family afloat. And so whenever I watched Gina's video, it just kind of brought all that up because it's not really anything that I've truly expressed or shared with anybody before of my experience with that because always the fear of, if any of those people that I did work with um, came across this live footage for people to see, that they would be like, well, wait a minute, that is totally not how I saw it, blah, 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 blah. Because we have a tunnel vision when we are in the moment of what we're going through and what we're dealing with that takes us down a path. And so they naturally wouldn't see it the way, but I know what I personally experienced. And so it came down to my self-growth and my self-worth that I had to find outside from being in the workforce. And it was really hard and it was very lonely. And I don't think a lot of people recognize that for uh, women who do decide to stay home with their children and raise them and, you know, ultimately even work from home and, and what have you. And they're not out there in the, you know, nine to five work zone to me. And I'm, and I'm not saying just the people that I worked with, but I'm just in general, I think it was one of those things of, okay, like Ashley's known of the girl now in town who gets to stay home with her kid. None of my friends or anything, nobody that I was friends with was doing that and so I had absolutely zero support and it was it was really really hard but I knew that it was a calling upon for my family which would keep us um, in a healthy state for us for the people under my roof and I literally had to dig my feet in the ground especially in those first five years it, it was really really tough so I, I just I really enjoyed watching um, Gina's video to, to be able to have those emotions to come across and me be able to kind of express those to you because you know, sometimes we just need to release things. And I think that is the true beauty of people 
you know, creating video content or whether you are creating content in a written platform, say on a blog or in a book or writing an article for a magazine or, you know, filming video for your YouTube channel and you just express and basically you're shining your light of influence. It really helps provoke other thoughts and feelings for someone else to be able to process through their soul. And I just really think that me watching Gina has really helped cleanse my soul this morning to kind of be able to release that and be able to share with you the true hardness of it was for me the first five years that I came home to be with my children and raise them in a home setting out from the you know workforce, sit behind a desk type job. Um, so I just, I'm gonna kind of listen to her for a second because I wanna hear if uh, anything else comes to mind, so. So I'll let you watch it a little bit with me. <laughs> I'm Gina. This is Arabella. She belongs She's to the smiling me. Behind the if you're new here, I have four children. Sarah and I are really, really old best friends. We're not really old. Old friends. We're really old friends. Yeah. This video is uncensored chat about our experience, isn't it? This is not like your typical stuff that everybody tells you before you have a child. You sleep now whilst you can. This is more of like a, like a real push. Yeah, like outside of the church. We normally have private like Number one, let's get in. What's the first point? Breastfeeding. Breastfeeding. I didn't even breastfeed. I don't think that you can be prepared for breastfeeding. Nothing prepared. The delivery, that. to be honest, was delivering. Women, women are not very good creatures when it comes to breastfeeding. Yeah. This like, is kind of Pro breastfeeding. Formula did women, women feel bad. Really? I thought that formula was like poison. Yeah. Because they made me feel like that. There's a lot of brainwashing I think around formula. So like I'm breastfeeding thinking I can't give this baby it's formula. It's the worst in the world and it's not. It's really it's not. not. It's another form of food. It really annoys me actually I think that what I have to say about that with the formula, you think about it, it's a powder substance and our children are being fed new nutrition through that powder substance mixed with water. And it gets me to thinking about how a lot of people drink protein shakes and these other energy drinks that's powder substance. And <laughs> to me, guys, it is no different than powdered formula for your baby. If you're someone who is feeling pressured to breastfeed, Feed, don't don't feel it but if you are someone who breastfeeds man I mean I'm like cheering for you I'm all for it if that's where you know where you're being called that's that's it that's for you but if you are someone who feels the com in the comparison trap of oh I have to feed my baby will never be whatever whatever they're gonna get nutrition through that baby formula, believe me. Thank you, were fed through powdered formula and they're both healthy children. Think about all the protein shakes and all the other powder substance that people mix with water and in their smoothies and what have you to get the nutrition. Potentially, you know, as I said, an independent life. You could be working, you've got your own interests, you've got social life, and all of a sudden this baby comes along. And the love that you feel for the baby is like nothing else that you've ever felt. Well, nothing else that I've ever felt anyway. But at the same time, there's also this fear that old you is gone. My career was a big part of who I was before I had her. I and I hope think. that it will still be a big part of who I am after I have finished my leave and after I return to work. You're still a person. You're a mother. You're still a person. Who am I? Because of those feelings, if you've lost your identity, often your life has to change yeah. at that point. One of the fears of speaking up. See, that's kind of how I felt about even speaking up and reading to you what my comment was going to be to her whenever I had watched this full video and it had struck such raw emotions inside of me that I've held deep, you know, through the years that nobody really knows. And like I said, even if I presented them and said them to these, you know, to the world that I was shut off by, if certain people heard this message from me, they would, you know, probably like turn their head sideways like, what, Ashley, you know? But I mean, like, I'm a true human and I experience that and my feelings are real. Actually nothing to do with the baby. Right? No. It's actually to do with you and what you're doing all day. Yeah. At home with that baby. You know what? I'm not doing much actually. I don't feel like. I, I just want to wrap up there and say that, um, you know, I really appreciate Gina making this video and it be so, you know, raw and uncensored to have this conversation because I think so often it's not discussed among women like those hard times and maybe not everyone has someone where they can physically go and be. But I, here lately I've heard a lot about how women that are homebound, so to speak, really turn to say video content and content creators for them sharing their life and stuff and they can experience 
be able to process what they're going through and find comfort in it. I mean, it could be anywhere from a traveling video or someone discussing something about parenthood or marriage or, you know, what have you. And so I just really appreciate Gina creating that video. And I just had to share with you my response um, to her. And so let's, I'm going to finish reading what I was writing and see if I would add anything to it. So that would be probably all the comment that I would leave on her channel. But at that, to be able to wrap up for you, I would say if you are a mother who has recently came home with your child, like I fully respect you. I fully respect what you're going through and what you're walking through. And do not be caught up in the the trap of wanting to find your identity among your old work. Not everybody is wired to just be thrilled to be home raising the children. Some, some, some women do thrive off of it and they never have these thoughts and feelings and experiences. And I think that's where it comes into play being hard for like somebody like me to express like, heck yeah, man, those first five years whipped my tail. I was so freaking lonely. I had no one. I felt betrayed and, and what have you. But I'm here to tell you that if you are having those feelings of thinking I'm, I'm not cut out for this. I've got to get back to work. Maybe, maybe eventually you will be called back into the outside work place. But I'm here to encourage you that if you are currently new at staying home, it, you, it's okay. I'm here to tell you. You can do this and you have been called home for a reason and your family does need you and you're serving them. You are worthy. You are worthy of serving them. And, you know, the Lord calls us to be home and raise our families and I'm just affirming the fact that you are where you're supposed to be. So I hope that this is a strong message for you today and, a, and is a word of affirmation for your current well-being of being at home with your children. I'm glad that y'all spent this time with me and I really loved getting to hear Gina and her friend speak and I hope you did as well. Have a wonderful day and I will see you shiny people next time. Bye. I wanted to share with you how I know Gina. I met Gina through a community called No Small Creators, NSC, NSC for No Small Creators, hashtag No Small Creators, formed by Cody Warner. And I met Gina through this community and so she is one of my fellow, uh, fellow sisters from this community and I usually try to watch a lot of her footage on her channel and she watches mine also and will typically comment on there. She is a very friendly uh, person and she just loves people. And so I, that's how I met Gina. So I just wanted to, you know, kind of put that connection with you of how I know who she is. If you haven't already, go check her channel out, Gina Walters. Let's look up here on the globe to see exactly where Gina is from. She is from Australia, Melbourne, which is in Victoria. So you can see Melbourne is right in that little indention there. Where in the world is Gina from? Gina, thank you for shining your light of influence out into the world. You're wasting up footage on my camera here. Stop calling my house.